Well, when I first came out here, you know, I have the perception that every other person who wants to be a police officer is, you know, this is all fun and games, chasing bad guys, you know, you get in your chases and stuff. And once you come out here and realize what the street's really like, for the most part, it's, a lot of it's just, not to say boredom, but just kind of blah runs where you're not, not a lot of excitement out here. There's, you know, a steady amount of paperwork and everything. And every now and then you'll get the, the good hot run where you get in a foot chase or a car pursuit or, you know, get a run where your shot's fired and a little adrenaline dump kind of run. 11, 160 to 110, dark colored sweatshirt, blue jeans, and short haircut. We had some officers who were in a vehicle pursuit. Uh, they had a short chase, subject uh, bailed from the vehicle. We believe he's laying down somewhere, so we're going to set up a perimeter. Hopefully, we got this subject boxed in. Tomorrow, we can come up to uh, maybe about 43, 4350, 4400. Okay, here we are. 22 control copy. Go ahead. You can find anything on him. What exactly happened here, Doug? We, we stopped him. He blew the stop sign at. Uh, 40th and uh, Bolton. He stopped. He pulled over at uh, 40th and Arlington for me. And then as soon as, as soon as me and Paul approached the vehicle, he took off like a bat. Brought the car right to here and bailed. Look at this. Try to get a unit down there. That's where he's headed. This we found in the front seat. Electronic scales, baggies. The mother load, baby. Good job. <laughs> hey, Sam. Talk to the guys. We need me. Well, between here. He ran, he ran from this truck. Okay, which way did he go? To here. Between the white fence stand and the bush right there. I bet you he came through these yards, jumped the fence here, went into one of these houses along here. Yeah. I, think he, I think he's right here close by, whether he's in the house. On the back, uh, or on the back side of that alley. You want to check this yard here? You got any dogs next door, ma'am? Stay there, he's coming down. Get, we got the dog. Get up here. Pat, let the dog up here. Hey, wait a minute. His name is Derek. They're not going to bite him. Derek! Come on down. Come on down, Derek! We're sending the dog in. The house is surrounded. There's a dog here. He's coming in the attic. You got five seconds. One! Two! I get the five. The dog's getting let loose. Get down here right now. On your stomach. Get on your stomach. On your stomach. On your stomach. On your stomach, Derek. On your stomach, Derek. On your stomach. Get his hand. Put your hands behind your back. Come on. Okay, here we go. We failed. That downstairs room. My dog ate me. I can tell you. We failed. Derek, really? you were smart to come out, man. Spread your feet apart, buddy. Real spread apart. Way hard. This is his pager. Oh. Oh, There's all his money, Doug. You got any more dope on your, on your pants, right? Hey, you got anything in your pants? Any more marijuana or crack or anything? Any money in your pants or anything? No? Go ahead and run. What's his name? We'll have him witness the camp. What's his name? Derek. Listen up, Derek. Okay, I'm going to read you Miranda warning. Before we ask you any questions, you want to understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. And to have him with you during questioning. Can I go ahead and you listening? If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand all of these rights you have? 
Okay. Do you want to talk now? Hey, I'm coming to do you, want, you have nothing to say? Uh, huh? No. No? Okay. That's fine. $1,252. $1,252. You want to sit down or anything? You okay? Can I get you anything? You want to go back to the house or you want to stay here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me stay here with you. I ain't with you. I got us in my car. Oh, okay. Has he been in any trouble in the past, Derek? Yes? Okay. Oh, I got it from there. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, uh, he's under arrest for felony possession of marijuana, uh, resisting the police in vehicle, which is also a felony. So those are two felonies. Also, resist fleeing on foot, which is a misdemeanor. Uh, we found him up in the attic. He came out willingly, thank God, because there was a canine uh, waiting on him if he didn't want to come out on his own. And he had approximately $1,200 in cash in his right front pan pocket. That's the money he had on him. Uh, it's six packages of marijuana electron and two electronic scales. So he's got this package ready for sale, ready to deliver on the street. Most of it, yeah, 1260 $1 bucks and about. Yeah, this has been freshly cut, though. Look at it. Look, couple, at, all, look at all the residues couple on the scale. With marijuana, I'm how, hoping. how much did, it, did you weigh it? This, I think we, weighed, we put this package in. It's like 4.31. It's been a good day. He's a good boy. Come. Excellent. He's a good dog. Well, we appreciate your assistance coming over and helping us out. Excellent apprehension tonight. My pleasure. Right. Anytime. Appreciate it. Thanks, Stan. Thank you. All right. Take care. We'll see you.